Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra out Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. Uh, today it's Wednesday, so let's go straight to our uh, daily analysis. So we left with few days before. I think it's five days before we reached the first uh, of 2023. So from Tuesday, it's going to be 2024. You all know about that. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends. What's really happening in the market? I thought maybe the market won't move that much, but yeah, the market did move. The market did move a little bit, especially on gold. I saw some smaller movements also on NASDAQ, even though the market did not really go crazy. But yes, I took some few trades on gold, but they were not really that bad. They were not really that bad. But before, before we continue on the daily analysis, I have a four-day special for everyone maybe who just wanted to join our team, uh, if you wanted to be part of the team. So here is the special for you. Remember, we no longer have this two months, right? So what we have is six months, 12 months, and uh, actually lifetime so what we're going to do here is on lifetime you can save like almost two is 200 then which means you're gonna pay 150 dollars for only these four days right so for 12 months you're going to pay uh 100 dollars you can I, I hope maybe you, you understand that you will do the math there you can pay 100 dollars and on six months is going to be eighty dollars so it's like this so eighty dollars hundred dollars and on lifetime is gonna be 150 so yes another thing is for those who actually wants to be part of mentorship once you join mentorship which is 350 dollars uh, for 12 months you're also going to get into a lifetime signals for free so it means like uh, you actually getting lifetime for free if you want to be part of the, uh, of mentorship so we still have some open spot uh, spot uh, spots so you can just uh, let me know you can scan this qr code or use my numbers or my link uh, in the description to be part of the team so yeah uh, for those who want to be part of the team uh, let me know before yeah and because those prices are going to uh, go back uh, to their normal prices so what's really happening uh we are on us uh, cad us canada so what's really happening we can easily see that yes uh, this is my camera today it's a bit fire but it's fine so what's really happening it's straightforward on canada as you can see we started with card you can see that we are pushing the market was pushing to the upside so we had this breakout so that shows us that we are on a downtrend but this downtrend it's been like seriously aggressive because the dollar it's been losing some momentum you can easily see that here we had proper structure but here we have like seriously a uh, melting structure so what you can do here is uh, you can just maybe draw something like this uh, something like that so that is going to be it was our support area so now you can easily see where this trend started and where it's now going so the best thing maybe you can even go maybe on a four hours time frame as i like to use four hours time frame and try to identify those structures sometimes when the market is uh, is going crazy like this you might find it difficult to uh, get proper structures because the market was aggressively on this downtrend yes we can see that yeah we are on down on a downtrend but you can't draw something like that obviously we just have to wait for proper reversals here and there we had a support a, a resistance there we can see sort of a support after that the market started to melt and when we check we don't really have a proper structure that we can see this is a resistant uh, or something like that or, or a support we don't really have that so which means it's better for us to do what to wait for a proper reversal before we jump on that cell because yes we are still on this downtrend but i checked on a daily time frame uh, down here on the down uh, on a on a daily time frame we have a structure where the market found a support so which is not really that far so jumping on this market might be uh, sometimes oh i for sorry jumping on this might be might be uh, a risky because 
we are very closer to uh, to our support area so the market might reverse the market might reverse so you can see you can see here this is an area that I'm pointing out. You see this area? The market might touch that. If the market doesn't really break out, we might see the market trying to do it to push the upside. So, yes, if it breaks out, it means we're going to continue with that sell. But for now, uh, we are still, yeah, we're still a bit higher. The market can still push even lower than that. You see, we are still very high. So, yeah, let's push to the next one, which is going to be... Uh, dxy so dxy quite similar structure to what uh, i can say on usd canada you can see that but on he, uh, on dxy i like the fact that we have sort of reversals uh, going uh, down you can see we had this reversals we had this uptrend before now we can see that the market is actually going down so i'm expecting the market to reach this point here you can see that i'm expecting the market to reach this level so which means the dollar is still going to sell so i think uh, what i'm going to do here is i saw also gold was pushing up yesterday i think it's much better the way i see a uh, dxy if you can you can get a nice pair usd uh, pair and if you can sell it there, I mean, if you can buy that pair until the market reaches this area, I think this is going to be a very nice indicator or a good indicator for us to keep holding until we see the market reaching this area. And you, it's when you can just take it out. And I think where the market is, we are on a very nice level. So we can just do it. We can just keep holding some of the trades until next week or maybe until the second week of January. But since we have NFP, I think NFP can also accelerate this move nfp might also continue selling we might reach this area very 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 quick that is possible but for now i think you can just get your pair that you would like to trade use a smaller lot size try to hold a little bit try to hold maybe trades for a week or two maybe that will actually help i'm not a swing trader but sometimes if opportunity present itself uh, what, what, what can you do you just take that so now we are on usd jpy what's really happening on usd jpy you can easily see that yeah the market uh, it was pushing up very nice very nice and quite for quite some time you can see here we had a support area let's do double lines uh, you can see that uh, so the market was pushing up very nice you can see we had a very nice uptrend. Now the market just broke out. We're still expecting the market to do what to even push lower. If we go closer there, you will see maybe what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, this is what we have. You can see that we have a very nice downtrend. Let me remove those lines. I don't want uh, them to confuse us. So this is what we have. Let me just use thicker lines. Please, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button uh the the channel is growing very nice guys the channel is growing very nice because of you so what we have here it's like it's the same structure that you saw here do you see this structure here this is the same structure very 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 the same you can see we had a white structure after that we had this crazy breakout even here we have the same thing so which means the market can do what can continue pushing even lower and aggressively and aggressively you can see that i'm expecting the market to break this area quite similar to this area so yeah i'm still bearish on usdjpy so i'm just waiting maybe for the market to reach this level of uh, of a resistance then we can continue selling especially when we're not actually far from uh, that breakout of a sell uh, we were on a very nice we were on a very nice uptrend and we broke out of that so which means now we are flying so now gbp usd gbp usd what's really happening you can easily see that yes the market is pushing to the upside the market is pushing to the upside uh, you can easily see that we are on this uptrend where we are now unfortunately the market has been playing around this level doesn't really want to push lower as the market is uh, on this bullish momentum but on top there let me remove that on top there uh, we have a proper resistant uh, that we can also use you see this level here the highest level so i'm expecting the market maybe to reach this point to break lower 
or maybe the market might break that uh, resistance and keep pushing to the upside. So I'm just waiting for the market to keep, uh, I mean, to come a little bit lower before we lo uh, we think about buying because we don't really want to buy uh, on the highest level, right? But, but even though we say we're waiting for a buy or whatever, we know very well that we are on an uptrend. So the market can still continue pushing to the upside because the market is seriously pushing uh, sorry the market is on a very nice bullish momentum we might have something like this here the market might reverse a little bit but still continue even here the market might not really come back to the support the market might just continue pushing to the upside but the simplest thing here that you can do is try not to go against the trend you can see at the end of the day the market is doing what the market is following the trend so let's push to the next one let's push to the next one uh euro usd euro usd you can see that also on euro usd the market is still pushing to the upside the market is still pushing to the upside we are on a very nice uptrend so i'm still expecting the market to shoot even higher uh, but one way or another even though we say the market is still going to push the upside there is a room for a, a sell guys there is a room for a sell but what i know is for now we are still on a stronger uh, a bullish momentum i try to have something like this it made sense but what I think, I, I will just focus on this horizontal uh, support and, and, and resistance. So I sent this yesterday. Uh, this shows that the market is very, very slow. You can see that, yes, the market is still on that profit. We never had any aggressive reversal. I'm still expecting to see the market pushing to the upside. The stop loss was not really that far, so I'm still expecting to see a nice push. The market might play games, guys. The market might just consolidate with us here, but just know that we are still on an uptrend and be safe out there. So don't just open them and forget them. As long as you have the stop loss and uh, and take profit, you will be good. You, see, you, will, you will be very good. Uh, so... Now what's really happening, we can easily see that we are on gold, guys. We are on gold precious metals. What's really happening, you can easily see that the market is pushing to the upside. We are on a very nice uptrend. We don't really have to confuse ourselves, guys. As long as the trend is pushing up, remember that this trend can last six months 12 months even a year or even more so just imagine when you're just looking for a buy looking for a buy sometimes yes you can take maybe a few sales here and there but imagine if you're just looking for a buy it means you're not going to confuse yourself with a buy sell buy sell now and then you know that okay on this pair i'm still looking for a buy why because we are still on that uptrend on this pair we are looking for sell because we are still on downtrend until the trend changes that will be uh, uh, you will be making some very nice profits but if you are not if you are not that uh, good or maybe you still learning here and there i think uh, don't try maybe just to go against the trend here and there you see try to focus on the trend because uh, emotionally that will drain you uh, when you try to go against the trend the market can just turn anyway like here just look at, at this area when we say you should listen you see this is a it's a resistant obviously someone saw this area and say okay on this resistant the market used to do what the market pushed lower okay that's a good a, a nice uh, structure there here also we had a very nice little bit of a sell just imagine here imagine here and around this area you sell then boom the market just goes against you you try to sell again then the market is going against you why because the trend is aggressively pushing to the upside. So the market will mostly go uh, or maybe continue with the trend. So you might make profit here and there. But hey, the market is going to get you and it's not going to be nice. At the end of the day, you might try to fight the market. You, emotionally, you, you might re do a revenge trading and think maybe the market will be doing something like this. And the market might take time to, re to reach this area. And guess what? You will be losing. So... What do we see here is we have this resistance. I've been preaching about that and we had a very nice breakout. So what I'm expecting is I'm just expecting to see the market pushing up again. So and I was afraid yesterday to send this signal uh, because I thought maybe the market was not going to move that uh, much yesterday. So I just took it myself 
something like that i saw something like that let me maybe go on a smaller time frame i saw something like that yesterday you know what i said hey i'm i'm getting bored uh, let me take this gold ah later on i saw the market but i got very uh, i got out here so i ch when i check i call, i got the market to a very uh, going up in a very nice profit and i said okay that's great but the reason behind that it was uh, we were on an uptrend it's not like Wimba was trying to go against the trend so what i see here is we also have a resistance there so i think there is a chance for the market to come back around this level so this diagonal structure i don't really trust it that much i am going to trust this support here the market might come here before we see another push or maybe the market will try to break that resistance and we can do what we can think about uh, buying again but on the bigger structure we also have a a, a resistance on top of there it's where the market created some crazy moves before so there is a chance you can see this uh, level there the market might try to go back around this level again and maybe before we see a sell so let's be extra careful but what i can do is let's relax guys the market is still very slow just because i said i did it here and there it doesn't really mean go and be and just try to take unnecessary trades because some people they don't really want to miss some people they don't really want to miss when you say i did it here and there they feel like they missed out you did not really miss out wait for your chance uh, that will come uh what's really happening what's really happening what's really happening on us 30 we can easily see that yes the market let, let's remove this you can easily see that the market is doing what the market is on and there's up trend and it's aggressively pushing to the upside so where we are now it's much 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 better than what we saw before at least the market might just consolidate quite similar to here so obviously when the market consolidates like that we know that most likely when the market breaks out it will grow crazy so even here i don't know if it's gonna be here or maybe the market will be playing around but if it breaks out it's gonna be aggressive push and i think we already saw that on nasdaq the market is already breaking out right the market is already doing its thing so yeah i'm still actually on this uh bullish momentum i'm still on a buy i'm i'm still on a uptrend which means i'm thinking about buying but where we are we can actually buy so we're waiting either the market will come back around the support or maybe the market breaks out then we continue with that buy right so what's really happening on the next one which is going to be nasdaq sorry it's quite straightforward uh, on our side uh what's really happening we are on a very nice uptrend i think this trend is going to continue uh to uh, to 2024 i think 2024 we're gonna have some serious a bullish momentum i think we're gonna have bullish momentum the reason behind that is we are going to get some uh, rates cuts let's hope that is going to happen they did say uh, they're gonna think about cutting the rates us uh, rates or fomc so if that happens or if they continue uh talking about stuff like that positively that they're going to cut the rate that is going to boost the market guys that is going to boost the market to push the upside so and we are going to look for a buy i enjoy buying nasdaq guys because mostly when it pushes to the upside it goes crazy but when it sells it can sell aggressively but the problem is when it reverses it can just go crazy also that's why i enjoy buying most of the time so where we are now we just broke out of the resistance we just broke out of the resistance you can see we did have a smaller buy yesterday you can see here or oh, let me just maybe change the time frame uh when we change the time frame maybe you will see what i'm talking about when i'm talking what i'm talking about you can see that we had a smaller let me take it this side we bought around this area but around this level i just want you to see so we bought around this level so it pushed up now it's coming back but i see it's pushing uh, back again so guys don't be aggressive i'm talking about the guys in the team so don't be aggressive if maybe you think maybe the market uh, is not doing uh, nice because some people they, they are brokers they have commissions uh, or maybe swaps so if you hold maybe three days and this thing doesn't really move nice you might add more of your uh, of swaps 
and you might actually lose doing that by holding the, the trades but if maybe the broker is not really that crazy you don't really have swaps that that is good that is good so what i see here is i'm still expecting to see the market pushing to the upside or maybe maybe the market might decide maybe to give us a proper reversal if maybe you draw something like this you can see that we have a, a nice support there we had different touches uh we see different touches so the market was doing something like that so we might have something like that and still the market can push the upside but it might be very slower the market might be very slower people are enjoying or celebrating their christmas guys so they are not actually in the market so we might see the market uh, pushing uh, quite slower but i'm still bullish even though maybe the market here and there can uh, give us some reversals but we are still uh, very 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 bullish so again guys uh, we have a very nice special let me just write that down uh, our normal price for six months it's one six months let me just write this for you six months 12 months and lifetime uh, the prices are normal prices are 350 hey, this three. 350 right here is 250 and 150 so what i'm saying is you can get six months for 80 dollars you can get 12 months for 100 dollars you're saving a lot there and here is gonna be worse you're saving 50 percent so it's 150 until 31st so it's like four days four days five days something like that so but for those who are going to join a mentorship uh, once you join mentorship remember we just need 30 people mentorship for 350 you also get this lifetime for free for lifetime signals for free right so which means you can just scan this qr code to be part of the team if you want to be part of the team just let me know and yeah or you can just whatsapp me or yeah you can just talk to me here so thank you very much don't forget to smash that subscribe button for those who want to support my channel i will just put another channel where i just talk about things up behind the market uh, everything that you should do actually behind the market before you make some profits i will put the link in the dis uh, in, in the comment section for those who want to support that channel you can smash uh, that link and go and subscribe thank you very much this is kenzo uh, i hope you are still enjoying your your holidays bye